Mike, how did Deshaun Watson look? You know, it, pro days are a little deceiving because sometimes I think we, we overrate them for quarterbacks. But um, what I really was hoping to see from Deshaun Watson was two things. Number one, just the progression of his footwork under center because obviously these spread guys are never under center. So how does it – I know he's an athletic kid, but how about the discipline of his feet, the consistency of his footwork? And I thought he looked good. And, and when the feet were consistent, the accuracy was there. When the feet get a little bit sloppy, he loses some of his accuracy. But on the whole, I thought he had a powerful physical performance. And I think the second piece of it is just how does he interact with his teammates? Mike Williams, Artavis Scott, Wayne Gallman. How's he working with them? And he's not a yeller and a screamer. He's a quiet leader. You can see the respect. He kind of grabs them and says, hey, going to run this route. You need to go do this. Everything about what he did was just quiet confidence. And I like his demeanor a lot, Andrew. Mike, we, we see him on the screen right now taking some work from under center, which is obviously vital, as you said, making the transition to the next level. Can you tell at a pro day, Mike, whether or not he gets it, whether or not that's going to be a smooth transition, or is it too difficult on three-step, five-step, seven-step to really see if he's going to be able to, to, to make that leap next year at a pro day? I think there's two steps to it. Step number one, when you're as athletic as he is, I think is fairly simple, and that's the mechanics of five-step, five with a hit, seven, etc. The mechanics of muscle memory, which I think he can conquer. And I think Jordan Palmer, who's working with him, does an excellent job. I think step number two is the much more difficult one and the harder one to qualify, which is, in this muscle memory and this footwork, how does it hold up in a live game in a pocket? How are your pocket mechanics? How's your decision making? How is your feel in the pocket? And Andrew, I think a lot of that is what makes or breaks the ultimate development of these college spread quarterbacks. He will attend the draft on the night of April 27th in Philadelphia. I think that speaks a little bit to the kind of confidence the kid has. He doesn't care if the cameras are on his face in the green room if he doesn't go number one overall. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I um, His demeanor is impressive. When I talked to his head coach, Dabo Swinney, he said the same thing, which is the kid's a flatliner. Nothing seems to get to him, and that's probably one of the big reasons why his best football is when the lights are brightest. I think other people shrink from that. I think to him it's just, a night, it's just another snap. Hey, it's Alabama, it's the fourth quarter, it's just another snap. And I think it's the same thing with the draft. Hey, the same thing with the combine. Hey, no problem. Same thing with the pro day. No problem. I, he's a flatliner with an awful lot, lot of athletic ability. Last thing, Mike. Obviously, Deshaun Watson's not the only guy there. Mike Williams, among others, Jordan Leggett, Leggett rather. Uh, they were working out today. Wayne Gallman. What did you have, Mike Williams? I've seen anywhere four five eight four four nine on the aggressive stopwatch. What did you see on the forty? Yeah, I had him twice in the four five five range. That was confirmed with uh, a group of NFL scouts and coaches. So I think four five five was his number, um, and I'm very comfortable with that. As I the rest of the league is, he's a power receiver. He, he's a red zone outside the numbers, back shoulder fade. He's a force to be reckoned with, and four five five to me is all you needed to see. I thought he looked really good. He was down about eight or nine pounds from what he played at 224. He was 216 today. You're probably going to get a 225-pound receiver when it's all said and done. But, again, that's who he is. He's a big, powerful wide receiver.